Yo, what's up everyone? It's Dagon Sign here, ready to bring you some more Genshin Impact news. And today we are talking about the Elemental Crucible co-op event that's happening. And I believe this is the same event that happened in the last beta test. I will have footage of that right up here so you guys can see it as we are talking about this event. So to right here on the MiHoYo forums, it says, Dear Travelers, the Elemental Crucible co-op event is about to begin. Work together with other travelers to shovel element clouds into the Element Crucible to advance the Alchemist process. After the alchemical uh, transmutation is complete, consume original resin to receive bounties, including character, experience materials, adventure experience, and more. Bounties will be calculated based on each traveler's individual world level. You can also obtain rewards such as primal gems, character sensitive materials, and even more by completing achievements in the alchemy handbook. Now, as you can see here, it doesn't say an activity time, but if you go to the CN forms, it actually has an activity time there, so take this with a grain of salt. For when the global time will be for this event but we can probably get a good estimate here so it says it's going to be alive on the 12th so that's going to be pretty much tomorrow all the way to the 19th and i don't know the time conversion as far as the times there but it gives a pretty good estimate as far as what time we may be seeing this event and how long it's going to pretty much be there's also the activity opening condition so you need to be at around adventure rank 20 plus uh, and complete all the tasks of the prologue and the second act uh, for tomorrow without tears to be able to uh, participate in this for the act opening conditions participation conditions complete the task alchemy breakthrough by TMS. So there's gonna be a character you need to go to talk to I believe he's in monstro he's the I believe is the alchemist guy actually you talk to him and then you get the quest and you be able to do it now talking about that what is the event actually doing so when you play the event is pretty much just a bunch of enemies that are there on the map and you have to kill them once you kill them they'll drop these like particles and you gotta get like a certain amount of these particles as i said like you're trying to do like a trans uh transmutation or whatever and then you put them inside of like the thing in the middle and as you do that you'll see the bar completely uh go up now as far as how the co-op for this work as i said the rewards you will get is based on the world level there was some problems in with this inside of the other betas and i'm gonna tell you about that pretty much what was happening was it will pair you up with other people that were like lower world level than you so pretty much the rewards were like a little bit better than doing your ley lines than doing the adventure experience ley lines so it caused the same amount of resin but you got a little bit more rewards however if you got paired up with someone who was like a lower world level than you then the rewards wasn't as great and it really wasn't worth it at that point they also had this uh handbook that they were talking about right here this handbook you can use and it's going to give you even more stuff inside there there was like uh, artifacts and like character uh talent materials and stuff like that they also had like a little leaderboard thing there showing case like the fastest time to do it however they didn't get any like extra rewards remember they don't want to put competition inside this game so just like it's a little like you know friendly competition but no rewards given just saying hey yeah we're the fastest people who did it and stuff like that so uh if you want to prepare for this event if it's going to be any way shape or form like the event was before then you want to do this with friends to make this uh fast so make sure you and your friends are at the same adventure uh rank or same world level rather and you guys can do this at the uh at the right time that way you can optimize and make this as a fast process because if it's anything like it was before and you have to you know match make with other people and then like get randomly put into a world level that's lower than yours it's just not going to be worth it and it's a little bit slower uh just because you don't have that synergy and just the way co-op just works in that thing is a little bit weird so what i mean by being a little bit weird as far as co-op as you can see in sudden footage if you're looking out above pretty much when you have your party save as you and someone else and y'all basically are just two of y'all y'all both have two characters and someone else join the last character you had in is going to be the character you're stuck with so if you and your friend were both using like a chong yung and then that person comes in or whatever you're stuck with chong yung and then let like, you know if another person uh joins randomly while you're doing it and your friend was using this chong yung then y'all got two chong yungs and if that person had a chong yung then guess what you got three chong yungs on the same team was is lowering your elemental reactions while you're doing the event which is slowing down how fast you're actually doing now once the event is over once you complete that uh task of it then you can switch your characters before you start it again and like i said it's pretty much like waves of enemies so you got like you know some regular mobs and then they'll throw in like some of the like bosses inside there as well i would love to see if they like i don't know they probably can't throw yeah they, they throw in some like the elites in there i think i think this is very good that they're actually doing a co-op event right now maybe this is just here just to settle us a little bit so we have something to do as we wait for the next patch as we know the new patch is going to be coming sometime next month so we do have a little bit so having an event that's going to be here uh, for at least a week 
just you know break some of that time up that we have waiting for the next patch of the game so this is definitely very good to have here uh can't wait to see exactly more things of course uh they were talking about you know uh, festivals and stuff like that in the last notes that we saw as far as things to come festivals and more just you know more things to do now as far as the handbook goes uh i don't think there need to be any changes as far as like how it works i think the rewards were pretty fine you know if you're going to be doing your ley lines anyway then this is just going to be a better way for you to get some rewards and yeah it's just overall just going to be a nice uh just little break from what we've been doing because a lot of people in the game right now has just been farming chess 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 and just having this nice co-op event you know a lot of people have been expressing there hasn't been anything inside the game yet that you can play with your friends i'm telling you this is the event for you hopefully it's a little bit more optimized like i said though we will see uh, i'll definitely be playing it myself and putting some footage up there give my review thoughts on how it changed from what it is now and we'll definitely see how it goes anyway i just want to tell you guys about the event that's happening let me know down in the comments below are you excited for this event uh and yeah i'll definitely be checking it out myself if you like anything i say today drop me a like i greatly appreciate it if you want to hear more from me follow me on my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know the next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see y'all next time signing out